Marinha. Wednesday the 8th of June. I've just checked, so I know it is. Um, it's been a fairly quiet week, to be fair. Um, I've done a bit of graft up the top, which I'll show you. Uh, I've been messing about doing other stuff, so I really had much to do when it comes to work here. Um, sort of took me off the ball a little bit, if I'm honest. Uh, with the fish in the 450, well, and, and them, but not so much them. The 450 gallon tank, I'm absolutely riddled with fluke, even though I've been using fluke P, which I touched it. I was conscious there was something going on in there. I knew it wouldn't be costier because I've treated with Alperex more than once, as you know. Um, so, yeah, the only thing you could read, I put it down to his blue and what I'll do I'll try and get a bit of a video if I'm still alive on the scrap um, and I'll show you try and get it try and get it on the camera but you know our audience is to get a blue phone lined up with your camera with your scope <coughs> um, there's plenty on them on so what I've done Rob Walker bless his heart seven o'clock tonight I've been down there and I've got a packet of fluke M uh, fl sorry fluke salt pro fluke salt plus Get me teeth in. Fluke Salt Plus. So I've uh, got a packet of Fluke Salt Plus off him. Um, like I said, bless him, he was uh, more than happy to accommodate me at 7 o'clock on an evening. So big, big props to you, Rob. But yeah, now I've had uh, I've had one dead end, a cash out there today. And I've had a Sankey, which was bulging eyes, and that's, that's finally died as well. So I've lost two out of here tonight, um, and now I've just put a, a, a big dose of flu pee in, just to try and combat whatever's going on. So in 450 gallon, let's say 500 gallon, I think I've just put 20, 22 grams in there, which is way, way overkill. But these are also just over here, these have also had uh, massive doses of fluke pee over the last couple of weeks. So now there's a bit of a build up on the mucus. I can see them better than I can see these in here. So there's a bit of a build up on the mucus. So these now, just spin your hand. That's the fluke salt plus, mixing up ready for them. That's going in there in a minute. I'm going to be proper pissed off with me because I ate fed them since I've come from work. And they are getting no feed. Not while well, this is going in, they'll have a feed in the morning, I suppose. <sighs> but the flukes are uh, the flukes are ripe at the minute. So while that's mixing up, I will have a walk up here. Just have to move everything to get in the pond. <clears throat> so as you can see, I've had a bit of a dig. Now, what I've done, because I've got a main drain. What used to come from there, I've got a green pipe that runs all the way down the garden. Comes through here, I've teed into the green pipe. What comes down to come across here, that's the drain going into the filter house drain. Uh, that'll be my drainage in there. Just, then if you can see, but just down here, you'll see a white pipe, or a dirty white pipe. What that is, is the main power coming up the garden. Um, I put that in 20, 20 plus years ago, God knows how many years ago, when we first had the house. Uh, that's a 6mm twin in earth, basically, in an inch and a quarter pipe. So it runs all the way from up the house, it comes up here under this tank and all the way up here. Goes into that shed. Now, with plans afoot, like I've said, that shed's going to be going, eventually. I'm going to build a brick shed across here. Replace all the fence, put a brick shed there, and then I'm thinking two four foot um, ponds up there. So, what I need to do again, I've documented before, I've got a big slab of concrete here, and there's gravel boards and everything in there. So, <clears throat> this was put in first, this, this pipe. So, it was one of the first things I ever did. So, what I need to do is I need to cut into that pipe. The green pipe will move, so I can shift that out of the way. So, I need to cut into that pipe. Switch all my electric off in the house. Disconnect the electric out of the main board in the shed. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, I can pull it. I can pull it back. 
So if I can get get it pulled back, that'll give me around about 10 foot of cable, which then will allow me to join a couple of 45s on there, come up with, with this green pipe, and of course into the filter house. And for the time being, for the time being, I can uh, I can just bring a waterproof box in here. Oh, sorry, waterproof box in here. For the time being, a couple of extension leads. I'm okay. I can get by then. That means that shed and everything there will be totally dead. So all the wiring and everything can come out. <clears throat> I've already got my water in. This is the inch and a quarter pipe for a bought just to uh, try and do me electric. Hopefully the weekend, but we'll have forecast thunderstorms the weekend, so I don't know. Uh, I've got my uh, inch and a quarter fittings there, push fit. I just hope my memory does serve me right and it is inch and a quarter. So as you can see, I'm in a mess again. Got from one extreme to another, do it. <clears throat> I've left a slope on that green pipe, as you can see. So it slopes all the way down. But I'm thinking of changing that. What I'm thinking of doing, because let's go back to the beginning again there's going to be a brick shed here and some vats there i'm going to need drainage up here first of all for the runoff on the shed so i'll need a guttering across the back of the shed because i'll build it pen style so i'll need a runoff and a guttering on the back of the shed there's a green pipe that already comes across here so i'll probably try and utilize some way that green pipe for to take the water off the shed which will then run all the way down and of course down here and into my drainage down the bottom <clears throat> and if I have if I have any quarantine ponds up here then what I'll need to do is have some sort of drainage point for them as well so I've got some little bits of green pipe and stuff knocking about um, and that'll allow me then to use or utilize the uh, the pipe in the ground so what I was saying is there's a slope on this at the minute on this on this straight pipe there's a slope on that so it slopes down which is okay but i was thinking of sticking a couple of 45s on because what i don't want to do is if i'm doing a water change on them or we have a heavy downpour of rain i don't want the water to travel down that pipe and travel straight into here although the lowest point open point is down by the sleeper pond and it's never done that it's never risen up there I'm just conscious I don't need to travel this way so should be okay should be okay there you go uh, a bit of a rattle for you to start with um, I as I said I had done now more on here that's hopefully gonna be this weekend I believe Skeggy's coming down this weekend as well because he's got to pick up a fish up walker uh, but yeah I'm gonna be busy and try and get cracked on with this and try and get my electric done my drainage done well, drainage is done pretty much as, as, as it could be I'm just a bit worried because when I turn the electric off in that shed that shed feels it feeds the whole of the garden and um, the orange wire what you can see this one where am I here that orange wire there actually feeds that bottom shed which feeds them two ponds so yeah once that once that um, once that six mil twin and earth is disconnected I've got no power running ways and means of getting power because I've got inverters and I've got batteries but yeah we'll see what happens eh? so uh, there you go start of a well I start of another video I wouldn't say start of a week this is Thursday today um, I'll be uploading the Adam Boyer video on tomorrow which is Friday so I'm sort of week behind at the minute with videos it's an issue keeps me going Otherwise, I want to have nothing to say to you. So, uh, yeah. Nice uh, to see some new subscribers as well. I thought I'd stopped. I thought I'd stopped at 8.50. Um, but obviously, we've, uh, we've got a few more. So, I'll tell you, friends. I mean, you get a lot more views than you get subscribers. So, I've got something like, on the last video, I've got about 1.2k views. But I haven't got a 1,000 subscribers. So, it don't, it don't cost nothing. Just hit the button. Give us a thumbs up, hit that button, subscribe, get me built up to a thousand. Happy days, we'll have a big giveaway to a thousand as well. Um, and yeah, there's a few videos knocking about while I think about it. I want to give you some advice. Um, 
Some good, some bad. Just be careful what you follow. That's what I'm going to say. You know, always, always trust your dealers and do the right thing. Just be careful what you follow. Well then, guys, I'm going to catch you. Uh, might be tomorrow. In all fairness, I'm going to smack this fluke solve in here. Smack this fluke solve plus into the super bonnet. They've already had it in the uh, 450 gallon. I'll smack it in the foot in the in the thousand pond and I'll uh, keep an eye on them on the cameras. Catch you later. Can go on again. Uh, I've been looking at the electric tools for figuring it out, yeah, but I'll get back to you in a bit of that. I'm going to get this, this bit of wall out around here, get that bit out, and then uh, hopefully we can crack on. So, yeah, happy days. Right, catch you in a bit. Yeah, I'm pleased and busy at it in a bit. How been you? Well, tonight is Mad Dog's barbecue, and there's a whole host of people here who I'll introduce you to in a minute. And we can, uh, and we can, uh, we can do it as we as we go along. But we have got a special guest with us tonight, and uh, I'll show you who it is. As always, we get delayed. <laughs> Very special guest that appeared tonight. Everybody's up the garden at the minute. Phil from Telford Coys just pulled up, so we'll, we'll say hello to him in a bit. Um, <laughs> so I think the special guest is just <laughs> Oh dear <laughs> oh dear. So they just come away, that is. That ain't nothing special, to be honest. Mad Dog! Hello! Our hostess with the mostest tonight. Say And here's our Mason. Hi, sir. How are you, mate? You alright, yeah? Kobe's up here scaring the kids, look. And we've got Petey Pete. 500 pound fish the weekend. I know. Not as I'm advertising the effort. 500 pound fish, can't believe it. <laughs> and we've got Rob's here as well. This is Rob, the richest bloke in uh, Broly Hill. He is because he takes the money off everybody else. He's our Trace, and of course he's uh, Phil and Claire. So, we're uh, going to get mingling and uh, we'll speak to you in a bit. How been ya? Here we are. Yeah, look. Hey, right over here. Here's our Julie. Not his Julie, it's our Julie. Oh, yeah, I'm just listening to the shit he's talk. Got my mate here, he's on the phone. He's got Santa Claus on the phone doing the Christmas list. We've got a, here's a Scragster and, and the better off. And then we've got Aid. I think Aid's over there, oh. And Claire and Julie and Vic, Trace. Teresa, our hostess with the mostest tonight. Still out of my cornetto, but you know. Bit of a touchy subject at the minute. No, it's alright now, I'm alright. Um, oh. I've had about 14 tonne of mate. Any old piss aid off, I'm doing a video. <laughs> he says, You ain't doing no video, I'm yours. Nah, well, I'll do one then. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit like Germany now when you should have gone in there with the smoker. So that's right as well. We've got royalty with us tonight. We've got Phil from Telford Coy. Hey. We won't mention anything about glue. Um, <laughs> Walker Coy's here. You can tell he's Walker because his, his pockets are full of change. Yeah. And of course, Ooh. Pete. Let's take it up here. Let's go and have a look up here. Oh. Here's Alan. Rob's better off. <laughs> right then. Ooh. 
before, that's what I found. That's that tonight, that is. Mad Dog Spons. Mad Dog Spons. Makashi Hogan, Shiro Turis, Here Turis, whatever else. This is actually, you're walking, this is pond number three. I've told him to put numbers on him. He classes that as pond number one. This is pond number two. And that's pond number three. He's got Alprex in the top pond at the minute. Uh, nothing nothing untoward, just that he's done uh, done a fluke treatment a couple of weeks ago and he'll just follow it up with Alprex. It tells me now, fluke, you can sometimes be followed by Costia. Look at this, how he's documented this stuff. You are? It's twice I found that fresh hell tonight. That's what you said. Hey. <laughs> Well, as I was saying, check, uh, yeah, Mad Dog's documentation of a Ginrin, cool, 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 a Tancho, oh, what is Paul can you? Tancho, oh, Chiba, <laughs> here's his Ginrin, cool, cool, I think that's cool, okay. <laughs> he's got a flat organ, I'll tell you what, you'll probably see this on H channel as well, but he's, Mad Dog's really done us proud tonight. Not as his help yet, we're still drinking, but um, he's done an absolutely Boston barbecue. The amount of meat that bloke has cooked is unbelievable. I mean, I'm, I can't breathe. You know how big I am as well, I, can't, I just can't breathe. But there you go. But, uh, I've only really done this just to get off Aid's back, so when you see this, go over to Aid the Koi Keeper's channel, have a look at these, he's just doing a bit of video as well. Um, do me a favour as well. If you watch this and then you go to AIDS, just say in the comments, how's your Israeli fish, eh? <laughs> I ain't going to tell him. But uh, just ask him how he's Israeli fish, yeah. That's Right, so we're still here. My mate here was supposed to have a tie off with him there in a the pink shirt. With him there in the pink shirt, he's got a nice drink now, so he's going to do it in one. He's going to, he's going to do, he is, he's going to do it. So he's got a fruit shoot. Which one? This one. Whatever, whichever one, mate. Whichever, mate. Do the two if you can. No, I, I, I'll have massive respect for you. He will. He will. That one. Go on then. That one. That only one. Go on then. Down in one. Now these are slushies. What mad dogs doing? Can you drink that in one? Don't know. Yeah, show us. Stick. Why are you drinking that one in one? Why? Why? Oh. Oh. And we're going to see him do this. That's one. How many more goos you going to have? What, drinking that in one? He reckons he can do it. You can take that in one. I'll tell you what, if you can, it'll freeze the inside of your esophagus. Go on then. Go for it. Go. No swearing on this channel, are you? I've got a keg machine in there. I've got Crash Team on standby. Yeah, we're family. You know what, Dave? I don't know what. Come on, it's gonna rain. I ain't drinking. I ain't gonna die in that, am I? I don't know if you're gonna I die in it. You might die on it. <laughs> he's going, but he's going for it. Go on, Aid. Go on, Aid. Ah, oh, he's failed. Dale, it's official. Dale, bother going to Aid's channel because he's a pedal dick. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have brain freeze in a minute. <laughs> have another go. Go on. Go on then. You're, you're, you're three quarters down now. How do you feel about this, Joe? How do you feel about Joe? How do you feel about it? About him being sick out of the car on the way home. Yeah, you're gonna do it. Yeah, you got the gonads. Told you. <laughs> I'm what? Oh, Says you I got the bollocks out. I've got the bollocks. I says you I <laughs> Now yeah, you're doing it well the I'm right, Vic. I'm right. Yeah, I got the bollocks. It's gonna rain. It is. It's gonna rain. 
Right, there's the first rumble of thunder. I'll just grab my can and get on. See this bloke here? This bloke has got the best barbecue on that I've ever had. He's done burgers, sausage, and mushrooms. All three. And brisket, and ribs, and chickens. 150 kilos of chicken. 150 kilo. Man, absolutely mad. But when you look around, for a barbecue in his back garden. You know what I mean? This bloke's entertained us tonight and he's kept us kept us in green, kept us in beer, here's the boys, look, we've all up in the corner together. And then I mean the rain is biblical now. Here's Scraggy there, look no we knew best. Here's I had the petal dick down there looking off so he's been out in the rain. He's been out in the rain. There's Phil. Claire and all the ladies behind and they're treated down the bottom. But you know what? Absolutely fantastic. I don't want to big him up too much because he'll take it off. You know what I mean? He's get up off the stuff. So I don't really want to big him up too much. It was alright. It was all brilliant. It was alright. What do you reckon, Gray? What do you reckon? It was too bad, was it? It was alright. It was a cabin. It was a cabin. You know the important bit? What? Black country boys are back together. Well, we are, yeah. We are, yeah. <laughs> Get your shoelaces on. <laughs> Fantastic day, guys. We might do some of on the fish next. In a bit. Mad dog. Big respect, kid. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Um, first of all, I want to thank Mad Dog for last night. Um, today's Monday. I want to thank you for last night because you put an absolutely cracking day on, or event if you like, um, with his barbecues. Oh, best one I've been to, put it that way. Felt a little bit rough this morning, but I'm all right now. Um, but anyway, where I, where I am, I'm at the top of the garden at the minute, so I've just come up to uh, see if everything's okay. Um, so if you remember, well, or you wouldn't remember because I don't think I documented it, but when we was up here Saturday, all of a sudden we got rained off, and when I say rained off, it was biblical, the rain was. And we've still got to have it again tonight. You can see the clouds are moving over. Yesterday, obviously, at the barbecue, the heavens opened as well again. Um, I've come up the top and... Well, it's actually gone down, to be fair. You can see where it was. I'll spin you around and show you how much weight is in this filter house. So, as we go down, you can see where it was. Up the wheels of the... Uh, of the mixer. Around about half inch now. So uh, yeah, it's gone down. I'm a bit concerned as to where it's gone. But <laughs> it's like everything was just chucked into place. This, this, this top all in here. Oh, it's still out in water. There's a bit more water in here now. So that's still out in water. And the biggest concern is everything's gone off in the mixer. So I've got to try and clean that out now. Should have really put me well. He's on, I think, instead of me trying us. Ah, it is what it is. It is what it is. Still a load of water hanging up on the top of there. So I've got to try and, uh, as you can see, it's ballying down. I'll get that all cleared off in a bit. Uh, pond's dry, which is good. All this lot's got to be took out of here. I've got to sort out this corner. So it's still loud to do, but as I said, the uh, Evans opened and we got got rained off. The pointing had the best. It was just a case of trying to fill the gaps as we went along, and there's still some there, as you can see. So I'm yeah, happy with that, but it is what it is. There are a lot I can do. I might wire brush it out a bit, so as it just makes it look a bit rougher, like these, these sort of joints. But I'm up to me height there. I've still got a few to put across here, which was the plan. <coughs> And then I've got to get that post out, but I can't do that yet. Um, so I want to be out there. Obviously, we, we mop on the door frame here as well. So we're coming up on the door frame here. And pretty much, there's a little bit of a wall being built under here. So let me get this cleaned out, and I'll see if I can uncover stuff, and I'll show you. Because it don't matter how much it rains now, that lot's gone off. So happy days. Catch you in a bit. So there you go, nice big pile of uh, gone off compo now.
for me to shovel out, shovel the water out at the same time, I think, so I don't think a cellar pump will do it. Just got to give a quick shout out to Graham and Pete as well, because they was with me the weekend again. Pete come over with Kanga work like a trooper again. We managed to get that wall out down there, so that wall's all gone now, as best as we can. Like I said, I've still got to sort this bit out, probably cut some of that away, get a block across and a block across. Cope, said about going to the edge of the wall again. It was never my plan to, but I really need to add, if I'm honest. Um, so yeah, to Pete and, and Kelpy as well for the weekend. That was over here Saturday. The mixer's now looking a little bit battered. Um, we did break it. Well, I broke it Saturday by trying to move it and stepped on the wire, ripped the wire out. Um, and then we fixed it. Well, Kelpy had a go. Totally balls there up. And then I had to put him right. He'll kill me for saying that, got me everything. But uh, I can hear the thunder rumbling now. I'm going to sort everything out. I've, I've come up climbing mix right, that was my main priority to be honest. Everything else is like a sludge pit and I can't get around here at the minute. Um, yeah, so we had a good, we had a stab at it as I said. And we've got, we got most of that wall up behind me. That's up to the level, most of it. Got a bit of a wall in here. Uh, which I might knock down, if I'm honest. I don't know yet, let's see how we go. But it's just a wall. Alright, don't get me wrong, but it's out on the level with the bricks. You know, the bricks will come round here and obviously coming up to there. It's only an eighth of an inch. I can probably pull it back. And what I've done, I should have really cut my block, and Kelpy did tell me to cut my block out there to get the, the waste in. But I said, nah, I'll cord really. Because I've got, still got the returns and everything to core drill over here. I've still got the skimmer to bring in, which is going to be over here somewhere. So as it comes into the drum. Um, so, instead of having to do another core drill, I don't know if you can hear that thunder. Going proper black now. Instead of having to do another core drill, I should have just cut the block. Cut that block and just be done with it. But it is what it is now, it's too late. Right guys, I'm going to cut it short. Um, you can see where I'm at and I've got to sort that corner out before I can tie everything in here and then we can carry on bringing all that corner in but this weather really at the minute doing us any favours this is like I said you can see it coming over you can hear it rumbling and I don't need the phone to picking it up it's one rumble after another catch you later folks Still no rain. Sending it all over to my dog. One hell of a clap of thunder just. Raining. <laughs> the buckets are falling off. Oh, that's me. So, as you can hear, the rain started, and I'm in my favourite place in the conservatory while this is happening. I love a good storm. I know a lot of people go like but I love a good storm. Um, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. I'm going to thank everybody for, uh, for watching. Also, I'm going to thank, obviously, Pete, Mad Dog. Um, and walk the point because as I said I've got flutes and he, he opened the door for me until half past seven on the night. And Mad Dog for the barbecue, Pete, Kelpie, Mad Dog, all there, yeah last night. We had a cracking time. And Walker, Walker was there as well. That was my taxi to Mad Dog's in back. Um, so yeah, thanks for sticking with me guys. Not much of a toy video this one, but a bit of an update on the build I suppose. The, the slow progress that is. Even Phil from Telford Boy last night said to me, yeah, it's the longest build in history, I hate that. Not quite. I think the first build took a bit longer, but there you go. Catch you later.